Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. In the ninth chakra, which is two to three feet above the head, one of the things that I've been finding, especially recently, is um, that in dream time, before people wake up in the morning, uh, they go over the karmic um, play that's like the main few lines of their karmic play that they play out over and over again in the physical realm day after day in the astral realm and the physical realm you know how there's the super conscious mind there's also the super unconscious mind in the eighth and ninth chakras so in the super unconscious ninth uh, ninth chakra negative there are these master plots or threads running through that affect a person and keep coming up all day long. So, especially if you're awake at like four in the morning before they get up, you can hear what is really going on with them and how maybe that's affecting you if it has to do with you. For instance, if a man feels that his wife won't love him unless he's unless she can feel she's vanquishing another woman at the same time uh, he may involve uh, himself and her in an astral play with a third woman that involves jealousy and putting her down calling her names and so forth so that his wife can feel that she's one up on someone else all the time and that he's a good good deal. He needs to have this other person attracted to him. And interestingly enough, he also needs for his wife to be attracted to her during the daytime so that he can get his work done. So, so, uh, so he sets up an attraction, unconscious attraction, between the, his wife and the woman during the daytime. The woman, the wife, may have a uh, repeating phrase from her early childhood or young adulthood to do with parental guidance, the negative variety. Uh, maybe a parent told her that she was promiscuous or like that. And she repeats this over and over again in her ninth chakra. It becomes part of her uh, meta program or uh, over Sam's her over samskara, her over karmic uh, action. And so because she's repeating it over and over again, the second woman becomes uh, like at the effect of that same karmic uh, line during, during the day because it's being repeated and she hears it. Now here's something I, I sometimes run across. The woman may feel that she wants the other second woman's money for whatever reason and so she may devise upon her husband to to find a way to get that money for her or for some like cause or something um, in some cases this involves the husband finding a friend or acquaintance who um, who can you know fake marriage and then or prove something that didn't happen and get money from the woman in that way. So the husband is doing this, this uh, trying to destroy the third woman for the sake of his wife who needs to have someone to feel superior to and to, you know, like ruin or get their money or kill them or whatever it is. They, he, the woman may decide, the wife may decide she wants the other woman dead out of jealousy whether or not there's any cause for that. And uh, there may be no foundation whatsoever for that. And the husband may agree to try to find someone to to kill, kill the other woman just because he wants to keep his relationship to his wife. These are rather melodramatic stories here. The uh, man and his wife may both say on this very high level in the dream time realm, they may, may say, may she, the third woman, never find another lover. And the reason they say that is because in their minds, they can still imagine that they're doing like, uh, 
what's he called a trio or like it's it's like an astral uh, menage a Troy uh, so and these are very de destructive I feel destructive of the of the overall uh, intimacy in a in a man woman relationship I feel it to be true and also true on the astral plane so so they may do their utmost to to like destroy in some way or the other this third woman simply because a man wants to keep his his wifely relationship and because the woman has a need to feel superior to another woman